visions in the dark. Okay. Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. Hmm. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. I thought the Throne controlled the Eternal Fleet. Broadcasting a signal to thousands of ships across the galaxy takes tremendous energy. The relay station's powered by 200 reactors tapping directly into Segul's planetary core. That's a lot of reactors. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. Think bigger, Lana. We could send fake orders, have Arkin's own warships blast him off the throne. Why stop there? When the fleet's under your control, there's nothing you couldn't do with it. You'll never get near that relay station. It's 10 kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. That's never say never say. Data reveals every security measure in the way and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Senya's right. I can't believe I had to say that. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough detonite to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent, throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Oh, is that what you tell all your victims? <laughs> Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. Yeah, Lana has a point, but I agree with Sinya and Koth, actually. Fuck it, you guys should work together on this, actually. This alliance will never win if we can't function as a team. I need all of you to pull together and do what's necessary. It's not that simple. We need to draw Arkin's attention away from our true goal. Hmm. That means creating a diversion. So I have They're to choose. both accomplished at drawing attention. The real question is, who do you want with you at the relay station? I'm gonna take if the major. If we can't take control of the Gemini frequency, we'll have to destroy it. Havoc Squad has the firepower for that job. Without me there to slice that relay station, Major Malfunction's suicide run will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Give me a chance. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want to be useful, distract Arkin's forces. See you at the rendezvous, Commander. Here we go. If Kaleo's idea of a distraction results in harm to my people, I'll kill her myself. And I'll help. Glad well, something's finally united those two. I can't say I blame them, though. To consult Valkorion. He built the spire. He may tell you how to invade it. Okay. Travel to a secluded area. Let's speak with Valkorion. The idea has a lot of potential. Uh, being able to control the entire Eternal Fleet. But no, I think destroying it is the right way to go. Oh, cool. We're actually going outside. I've been stuck in the base this whole time. That's cool. I like that you can see the Odessa Nebula from up there. I'll happily take another forest planet in this game. Yeah, this is cool. Gonk, gonk.
procure wilderness survival gear. Look at the moonlight shafts coming through the trees. Okay. Ooh, okay, I got a backpack. Let's see here. Energy shield, medical backpack. There's danger in these woods. Valkorian, we need to talk. Jedi and their consultations. In too many ways, you remain bound to that order. Time and again, you reject my aid. Why would I trust you with secrets you have not earned? You always knew what controlled the Eternal Fleet. You should have told me. I am not your servant, and you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Oh, what? Get up! Is she unconscious? I don't know if Alcorian could attack from spirit form. Yeah, I bet she's got a headache. Lana, come in. Something happened. I need your help. No signal? Your friends cannot hear you. You brought me here. Why? Sometimes, evolution requires a push. Or a sacrifice. I don't like the sound of that. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. Uh, is he gonna attack me in, in the woods? A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. This glowy thing. Cairns are a way to mark common paths. Can you sense the predators closing in? Hmm. They smell your weakness. They would feast on it. They can feast on my lightsaber instead. Uh, no. It's like gnawing on me. How do these things work? Too close. Oh, cool. I think I get it. Uh, what? Uh, uh. You have a destiny to fulfill. Yes. I am tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress. Valkorian's just gotten fed up and now he's like sending me through it like a creepy obstacle course. It's like forcing me to train up. Searching for a way out. Check the southwest passage, okay. I jump. Yeah, 
despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. The Force is with you, Jedi, but it will not defeat my son. It never could. What then? Not the Force. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. I follow my own path, Valkorion. Not yours. You truly believe that? How pathetic. The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. Oh, snap. All right, round two. You son of a bantha. Ah! Ah! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! Ah, that's a lot of lightning. Come on, Janata. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. You act like I didn't leave Tython as a fully trained Jedi. You do not perceive the path ahead, even when it is obvious. Let that be your first lesson. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Wait. Whoa. He's imbuing me with power? And I promise to return. He's leaving? You can exist outside my head? Where are you going? And why? It is pointless to explain. He said he had matters to you attend to. understand when the time comes. Ah! Damn. How many times am I going to get knocked unconscious in this episode? Okay. 
Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. Maybe that's where Valkorian's going. He is to confront angry. him. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. Can't even he bring himself to say what brother. happened. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always. There's a rift beginning to form here. I don't trust Valen. I don't think Arkin should trust Valen. Wait, now where what? am I? Wait, is this my ship? I'm on a Jedi Defender. Look at this. What the hell is this? Who put a giant, like, frickin' warp core in my cargo hold? This is crazy. Right, we're still parked on Odessin. Ah, the old galaxy map. Wonder if it still works. Why is this making me emotional? <laughs> I'm thinking about all the places that we went together in that ship. Janata's so been on a lot of adventures. There's like lichen growing on the mat, on the ramp. This isn't my ship. A totally different exterior. What ship this is? It's been here a long time, though. For millennia, oh, Jedi and Sith archived their knowledge and Hey, Satil. These legacies preserve the wisdom of great minds. The focus was often on exploring mysteries of the Force, not the practical matters of government. After all, Jedi do not seek to lead, and it is in the nature of Sith to force their wills upon others. But a few sought to understand what it truly means to lead a civilization. These are their teachings. Of being a, a leader and a Jedi. A book. Don't get a don't get a recording for this one. Schematics. It's Tython. It's at the Jedi Temple grounds. And this is uh, Sith Training Ac Academy on Korriban. Would have access to both of those kinds of intel. Meditation circle. Oh. Give me insight into the wildlife of the planet. I can dismiss and tame a creature. Dig it. Goodbye, young stalker. May the force be with you. I'll miss you. I really, I really do like this forest map. It seems like it's just like higher quality, somehow. And <gasps> yes, finally. For you a long time.
Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Sean. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you? You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. Or was she talking to Mar? You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. Don't take this personally, but you've gotten strange. <laughs> I think we both have. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessa for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. You're saying it was pure chance that you found me out there? Of course the not. Will of the Force. There are unseen influences working through me. Does this mean that when Lana sensed the balance on this planet, she was sensing Satil? Corian strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. Hell yes. All right, I'm ready. There is no greater challenge than to change from within. But that is what we all must do to survive. Oh, come on. Oh, some tall stepping stones. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learn to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. What makes Arkan and his followers so different from Jedi or Sith? Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You Zealotry. must become stronger. Master Satil, that goes against everything you ever taught me. It's the kind of thing Valkorion would say. We are nothing like that man. Mar! It's good to see you, man. Darth Mar. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. Nothing can hurt you now. All that armor is pointless. <laughs> I appear to you as I wish to be remembered. A symbol. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one. In all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. 
If Jedi and Sith have found a way to work together, I want to know how. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures. To forge the future, so ready. you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you and meet us in the cave. Okay. I was so sad when Mar died. I'm so glad that he's back in any capacity, and the fact that Janata gets to learn directly from him. Arkan won't be conquered through passion or righteousness. He has emptied himself of weaknesses, like sentiment and morality. Uh. Shade Stalkers are some kind of like sonic attack. Okay. Oh, look, there goes the teal. Oh, look at her go. Your enemy stole his empire through deceit and murder. He's accustomed to the dark. You must strike where he's blind. From within. I was going to say from the light. In life, I dismiss the Jedi Code. I was wrong. There is no death. There is only the Force. Oh, wow. And it has a plan. Hearing the Mar recite the, the Jedi Force Code. Is a flowing current. You can follow or fight it. But it is always there. Man, the voice actor who does Mar does such an incredible job, also. This is a cool cave. An altar. Oh my god, come on, don't get stuck. This feels like a Draugr altar from Skyrim, randomly. It definitely does have, like, the ancient force vibe, too, though. Wait, what? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tell me, do you believe in a future? This can't be real. I have a future, Balin, but you don't. It's gotta Just be like the, the cave I on like Dagobah. It. Oh. Well, that felt real. Oh, shit, has got a lot of lightning. You gonna bring the roof on our heads? Jesus! God, whether she's real or not, I'm getting my ass kicked. You think you're winning? I love it. Ugh. Ah, oh, come on! No more holding back! Never again! Ah, 
I am a Jedi Battle Master. I will not fall. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, stop doing that! Whew. I knew it. I knew it was Trixie. I knew it was false. This was a test. I fought Arkin's sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. Get with the program, Janata. A bond to the Force as intense as yours brings with it powerful insight. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. You want me to build a new lightsaber. You will create a pure extension of the Force's will. One you alone control. With it, you can unite a thousand stars. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. This is epic. And forge a new lightsaber. We're literally the two greatest teachers in the galaxy right now. Mar and Satil. Sacrifice. There's no loss. I can't survive. As a paragon of the light side, Janata's always been about sacrificing herself for others. Oh, this is dope. I like how that's so obviously Satil's hilt that she's added, the hand grip part. It's done. That blade is part of you now. The next time you face Arkin in battle, he will not be ready for you. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness. War does not make one great. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkyrian and refused to bend. That choice broke me, and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. It's better for me to learn from your mistakes than repeat them. Your brief time as the Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces on Corellia tested you and exposed your limitations. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. The final lesson waits there. The final lesson. I mean, they're right, it's a hell of a responsibility if I'm in charge of the Alliance, and the Alliance consists of the Empire and the Republic at this point. The burden of power.
about one of these things. You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. Ooh. Awkward. I guess I do deserve that, don't I? You have to escape such raw fury. Escape isn't always possible. If you accept that death has power over you, it stops being your enemy and becomes an ally. When that happens, you don't have to fight. Sacrifice. You know, she was willing to. You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? Whatever fate has in store for me in the alliance, I'm ready. Your way is clear, and so is ours. Do you feel it, Mark? Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odessa is over. A new path is opened. Where will you go? Our duty is to follow it. Nothing's more important than staying to help me defeat Arkan. Our time has passed. This is your war to fight. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. I, I get it, but I feel like we could still really use your help, Satil. I do understand, though. All right. Here's the climbing ledge. What climbing ledge? Oh. Found it. Nice. Oh, I see. Very, very well done. Yeah, I really like the Odessan Wilds as a wilderness map. Oh, here we are. Alright, let's check in with the gang, see if I missed anything. I feel like that's Janata right there in the picture. <laughs> Sub-level four. Five by five, Major. Trailer oh, shit, that's right. They're the going after the power checkpoint. stations. Try not to shoot everything this time. There are only so many storage lockers. Or the, the relay to station. Well, that's half the challenge. What kind of Sith are you? I've identified the hyperwave relay station's weak points. Demolition charges at each one will maximize the blast radius. You want to destroy our best chance to take control of the Eternal Fleet? Unbelievable. I feel my IQ dropping just hearing you talk. Damn it, Khalil. We already discussed this. Your mission's complete. Get off this channel. And my planet. I don't remember promoting you to commander before I left. Where the blazes have you been? I'll give you a full report later. Tell me what I've missed. Everything. We've had to improvise without you. Hold up. We've got trouble. A dozen knights coming behind us. Someone found your mess on level 19. If that was true, there'd be twice as many. Major? Ah, oh, shit. Major, come Jorgen. In. We've lost the signal. We could salvage the mission if we send our backup. She isn't backup. She's collateral damage. Hold on, Senya. The Knights might kill her for us. <laughs> I'd rather ask forgiveness than permission, but I don't need either of them. I'm halfway through level 10. Consider the mission complete. Damn it, she's forcing our hand. Understood and approved. Do whatever you have to. Always do. Oh, look. Things to shoot. Be seeing you. I don't really like Khalil, but she is very effective. Man, it's not going well. That's the end of the chapter.
I'll catch you guys in the next one. May the Force be with you.